Perhaps you've seen this video on YouTube. It shows a tennis official during the Australian Open walking over to a spot on the court. When she tries to bounce a ball, nothing happens. It just dies there. What's happening? Why is there a black hole of energy on a tennis court? To find out, we talked to physics professor Michael Kruger. Well, we know when, when a ball bounces off of something, of course the properties of the ball are very important. A super ball bounces much more, say, than a bowling ball. But it's not just about the ball. It's also what the ball is bouncing into. So I think what, what happened in, in that, that dead portion of the court, the surface layer had a vapor bubble underneath it. So when the ball dropped in that spot, all of the energy of motion, the kinetic energy, as we say, uh, of the ball was used. It, it deformed the surface, and it pushed the top layer and the vapor around. So in the end, what, what, those, what they did to fix it was they simply drilled a few holes in the surface. It let the air out. And so now when the ball hit, it didn't push air around and deform the surface. It, it bounced against the, the, the bottom layer, the, the, the very hard layer, and it could bounce up very nicely. Still, not even a little bit of a bounce? It's like someone put Velcro on the court. I was, I was stunned by it. Yeah, same here. I, I would have expected maybe a little bit of a bounce, a little bit of a movement. It just, it was like it was magnetized. It just got stuck there, or Velcro, as you said. That's right. It was pretty stunning. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas, and that's Dead Spot on Hisense Arena Explained.